Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us today. He's going to start up the engine. We're going to quickly go out and do the pots before it gets dark. Because we've got storms on the way. So I probably won't be able to get back to these for at least two weeks after this. So hopefully we get some lobsters. These were heavily baited, put in some really good spots. And hopefully we get lucky. It's smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We've got the engine started. We've got plenty of fuel. And we're heading right out here to some nice old crap pots. And we are deployed. Come on, Sam. We got Captain Sam at the helm. Oh, yeah. Where's those Larrys? And we got loads of bait. I'm predicting a keeper shanker crab and two keeper lobsters here. Oh, I like it. I'm saying one keeper lobster and three brown crab. Ooh. I've got no debate in these, so is Yeah. Good, good chance. Oh, there's a lobster. Yeah, boy. And a spider. Oh, look at the spiders. spider crabs, man. Wow! Oh, the season has started. Another lobster there. We need the gauge. Look at that yeah, bad boy. Look. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice one. That mullet did it. I don't think that one's going to be a keeper. Oh, just out just there. Out. A couple just of mil. out. Lovely to see though. Come back in a couple Small of weeks. Spiders. The spiders are coming in in force now, eh? Loads of them. That other lobster is a small one as well. There we go. Lovely little lobster. Lots of males. Right, get this one baited. On to the next one. Come on, that's a great first pot. See a lobster. Nice. There's some shellfish around, mate. Bit small. Not a lot in that one. For the first pot, eh? Yeah. Just shows how well mullet works. I put mullet in all of these. Mullet is a great thing. Look at that, mullet heads. <laughs> Some spider crabs. There's a lobster. But a lobster every pot. Is it going to be a keeper though? That's the big question. Not bad. That's a keeper. I've got a uh, Yeah, definitely. I hope so. Oh, full of eggs, look. Yeah, goes back. Yeah, goes back for another day. It's all about maintaining your uh, your population, guys. That's a lovely lobster. That female. Back she goes. Look at that big red one. Nice. Red ones always they always seem to taste weird. Alright, where are we? We need to get out of the rocks. Yeah, I'm on it. Go on then. We'll uh, we'll get these pots out guys and then we'll uh, be on to the next string. We've just found a giant reef here. Just out of nowhere. Look at it, it drops right off. So what we're gonna do is play right into the middle of it. And as always guys, watch your feet. So if you go over with these, it's gonna be a sorry day, that's for sure. Beautiful. And now, on to the next ones. Come on, you Larry. It's an inkwell. Big spider crab. Not a bad spider. Keep that one. No lobsters in there, though. No. Impeccable driving. Ah, right next to the reef. Hopefully, this one's our lucky one. It's 
stuck. Stuck in the reef. <laughs> that they straight away. Hey, oh. Right, ready for a yeehaw? A yeehaw. After a little bit of a rodeo, <laughs> we may have freed up one pot. It's not guaranteed. We're in a giant reef here, so like you are gonna snag up eventually. The first pot, come on. Jonathan? Brown crab. Brown crab. Oh, that's not bad. Got on the small side, eh? Well, that one really. Here she comes. Here comes the boost. This is spider crab. Grill oh. pot, baby. Nice lobster. Nice. Is it going to be a keeper though? Oh. I think it's too small. Yeah, that's a bit small, that one. Is it worth measuring? Nah. It's oh, it's got eggs there. Another yeah. one with eggs. Good for the future. Yeah, nice to see all the lobsters, but not many keepers yet, eh? Surprising. Come on, give us a keeper. We deserve one. There's more, more spider crabs. The lobsters are shy, eh? Yeah. Very right. shy today. Small spiders, guys. Loads of them. They're quite red as well for some reason. But hey, can't win them all. We get these baited. On to the next set. Look. Close that one, do you want to measure it, mate? Yeah. Right. Looks like it's all I need. Give your hand, mate. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that is just under it. That's a. That, I'm not even saying anything, that's a millimeter. Look at that, that's so close. Yeah. It's going back. Back she goes. We're not doing well on the lobsters today. Oh. Little well, spider crab by the looks of it. Yeah. Spiders. Loads of them. Lots of females in this one. Yeah, it's all spiders. No big ones though. Look at that feisty. Come on, first pot. That's it in that one. Brown crabs and spider crabs. The lobsters are definitely a bit shyer today. Starfish. No lobsters. It's 
scallops, worst nightmare right there. No larrys. Ground crabs. Larrys are certainly eluding us, eh mate? Yeah. Hundreds of crabs. Previous video, same lobster. The telephone. Yeah, literally same female. <laughs> Back she goes. I didn't actually expect them of an in these pots, so I to see something there. Here she comes. What are you saying, Sam? I'm saying two lobsters. I'm saying I'm saying we're gonna get a keeper lobster. Yeah? Yeah. That's Last like... string we're gonna get a keeper lobster. Not in this crab pot. Yeah, the same old story. <laughs> it's the next one. Well, they're not bad brown crabs, but they're just a little bit under it. Spider crab central. More spiders and more spiders. But no big spiders. Bacon no, no, it's not. All that mullet as well. I know. Let's see if Rocky's do it. Last crab pot. What a slow day. We've had two spider crabs so far. It's enough for a catch and cook. But we could have done with a nice lobster today. Would have been nice. Last pot. See if it pays off. Yeah. Spider crab. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, it was a spider crab day today, no lobsters. So that's fishing. We can't catch them every time, but at least we've got a nice old spider crab. And what we'll do is I'll see you in the kitchen. We'll go cook some of those bad boys up. It's a bit late coming home today, eh boss? To a secret reef. We got the nav lights going, we're on our way home, and we got a couple of nice spider crabs here. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cook some of these tonight or tomorrow and have a nice old crab meal, maybe. We are back in the kitchen, guys, and we've got our lovely spider crabs here. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the carapace off, just exposing the meat and the body and the legs. We've got a nice little bamboo steamer. So we're going to try some steamed spider crab. I've never had crab steamed before and I've heard that it locks in all the juices and hopefully today that is the case. So I've got a little bit of water in the pan there guys and all I'm going to do is get my steamer on top and get that on a real good rolling boil so we can get all this steam coming through nicely. And what I've done is I've taken the carapace off the crab, I'm going to crack it in half and hopefully I can fit some of this in this little steamer. But only time will tell. First spider crabs of the season, baby. Delicious. Oh yeah, look at all that meat and stuff like that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit all this in there, but we'll try and get as much as we can. <laughs> We've got a fair bit of steam coming out of there now. What I'm going to do is try and get half of this big crab in there. It's proven a bit more difficult than I uh, previously thought. You might have to break a claw off. So I had to break the claw off this bigger crab to get it in the uh, in the bamboo bit. Fits actually quite nicely. This would be great for a lobster. If you want to see steamed lobster guys, leave it in the comments. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this crab up. And my beautiful little steamer, check that out. Make sure that's on properly. Look at that. Beautiful. Cook away crabs.
It's actually surprising how fast the crab cooks with steam. You can see, beautiful orange already, all the meat's cooking nicely. Quite surprised. Smells good too. If you've got any recipes for like steaming and stuff like that with fish or crab, leave it in the comments guys, or even lobster. So I might start cooking with this a bit more. It's quite, it's quite an interesting way of cooking. Cooking with steam. It doesn't have to get hot in there. The crab is almost cooked now, guys. As you can see, they are looking pretty good. Check those out. Delicious. So I'm gonna give it another few minutes. I'm gonna pop to the shop and run a few errands. And when I get back, we're gonna enjoy some delicious spider crab. It's a really interesting way of cooking this. I'm gonna get a bigger one. And uh, we can do bigger, bigger cook-ups in it. But make sure you leave some uh, recipes in the uh, comments, guys. Because I'm definitely up for trying stuff like this. Maybe even doing some smoking in this. That'd be great. All right, we are back, guys. And check this crab out. This looks absolutely amazing. Going to try out. Because I've heard that it makes the crab a lot more moist. And can sort of locks the, locks the water in. Looks delicious. Fresh spider crab. First crab of the year. Let's tuck in and see how good it is, baby. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. My favorite crab to eat, the spider crab. It's so sweet. Oh yeah, look at that. That's when you know a crab's cooked well, when the meat just falls out when you pull the legs off. Look at that. Oh yeah. So there we go guys. Beautiful bit of spider crab. My first ever time steaming it. Mm. Definitely juicy, that's for sure. Mm. That's tasty. Quite an interesting trip though. I really thought we were gonna catch some lobsters on that trip. I loaded up the crab pots full of uh, full of mullet. Cause I, I knew I wouldn't get back to it for a while. So yeah, and we didn't get one keeper. Loads of small ones, which is nice to see. Look at that lovely big chunks of fresh meat. Yeah, hopefully next pool, we get a bit more lucky with the lobsters. But the spider crabs are gonna be in in force now. The next couple of weeks or the well, next couple of months or so, we're really going to be um, getting some spider crabs because it seems like there's a lot of males turning up already and we're very early in the season. It's quite surprising. And these crabs get a lot bigger than this one, that's for sure. Nice to have Sam with us again on a nice old uh, boat trip. He's been working a lot lately, so he hasn't got time to be out doing the cooks and stuff. But um, nice to have him out for a few trips. Mmm, so tasty. Can't beat a good old chunk of spider crab. Mmm. Look at that. A lot of the meat just comes out with it. With boiling, it doesn't always do that, so it just shows that steaming, it definitely locks that moisture in and sort of separates the meat from the shell a lot. It's quite interesting. Mmm. Funny with spider crabs, it's always the, the claws. They always stick, no matter how you cook them. If anyone knows how to cook a spider crab without the claws sticking to the shell. There's always the claws, it's really strange. Like that, you can see half the meat's there, but it's all stuck to the shell. But I've never, I've never been able to not do that. Got any tips, guys? Feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm gonna leave the video there. I'm gonna finish off my nice crab. I'm gonna sit here in a nice afternoon, get a nice beer, and I'm gonna eat this bad boy. So stay tuned for next episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo.